Hi, this is Pastor Eric, and hopefully this will work. I'm having some internet issues here, but I'm at the cemetery near my house. I live off Route 2, Ashby Ridge Road. And uh, what I wanted to share tonight was Matthew chapter 22. And it's a, it's a situation where there's Sadducees questioning Jesus. And uh, one of the biggest differences between Sadducees and Pharisees is that the Sadducees believed that um, that the resurrection wasn't true, that the resurrection wouldn't happen. Now, uh, the Pharisees did. Uh, on another difference is that the Sadducees didn't know if they believed in angels. They didn't really believe in angels. So there was, there was quite a difference between Sadducees and Pharisees. The reason why I'm here at a cemetery is because the Sadducees went up to Jesus and asked him, and they kind of gave an example. If, uh, if a woman is married to a man and he dies... And then he has like seven brothers. Does that person go on from the next brother to the next if that brother dies and the next brother dies? Does that wife go to the next one to go to the next one? And then after they're dead and raised again, does, who, whose wife does that person become? Well, the good news is, is that Jesus responds with clarity the fact that we are all going to have resurrection for us to believe in Jesus Christ. And most importantly, that, that God doesn't have uh, people that are dead. Um, he is the God of the living. And so that's what we see here in this uh, Matthew chapter 22. Let me read this part. It says, Jesus replied in verse 29, You are in error because you did not know the scriptures or the, or the power of God. At the resurrection, people will neither marry nor be given in marriage. They will be like angels in heaven. But the resurrection of the dead... Have you not read uh, what God said to you? I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead, but the living. And so I really think that's really neat that, you know, as we, as we think about this and as we, we reread this, and here I am at a cemetery, and I think about all the lives that have been lost over the many years. And this cemetery is kind of small, but this cemetery has been established since uh, 1859. And so there's been many people that have lived on this hillside and have been buried here uh, throughout the years. And I think about this, that what it's saying here, what Jesus is saying, for those that put their faith in Jesus Christ, those that give their hearts and lives to Jesus, all of those that do that are living. We're not dead. So Jesus not only says this in one gospel, he says this in three out of the four gospels, that he says he's not the God of the dead, he's the God of the living. So when we put our faith and trust in Christ, we have this assurance, not just because we want to hope that something's after this life, or we kind of wishful thinking. Um, no, Jesus tells us plainly, he says that we are, <laughs> are living, we are going to live on. And God is not serving, you know, not allowing us to follow him if we're dead. He, he, we're, we're alive. And I love that part where he says he doesn't, you know, he's not the God of the dead, but the, the living. He's the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. And so he's the God of me. He's the God of you. And even after you're gone. And then as I think about this little cemetery, I, this may be somewhere where I'm, I may rest at one point in some time of my life. But my body may die. But what Jesus says is that I'll live on. That my faith in him will live on forever and ever. Because he's not the God of the dead. He's the God of living. So thousands of years ago, when Abraham put his faith in God, when Moses or Jacob or any of those other people that were great leaders and loved God and served God, those that put their faith in God, they're not dead. God doesn't have dead followers. God has followers that are alive. And so while we may, we may take a, a brief uh, time where we, uh, uh, you know, just in an instant, we'll see, we'll see Jesus face to face. I don't know about you, but that's encouraging me to, to know that my body may rest in a place like this, but, but my spirit will be with God and I will be alive forever because of my faith and trust in Jesus Christ. So I just want to encourage us all um, to think about how we could all um, worship Jesus all of our life 
and that when we die, that's not the end of us. We're not dead just, and that's all. We get to live forever and ever with Jesus Christ. Let me pray. Lord, I just thank you for this time. I thank you as I stand here. I think about all the lives throughout the years, thinking about this cemetery being here for, from 1859 and thinking about all the lives here. And Lord, I don't know uh, who they put their trust in, all of them. Many of the tombstones, I see names and, and see names that I, I know that uh, the tombstone is representing you in some fashion or some form. But Lord, only you know the lives that are, are resting here as their body has decayed. But Lord, I thank you that those that didn't put their trust in you, they're not just in, this, in a tomb somewhere or in the grave here, but they're alive in you. And Lord, I thank you that we, we as worshipers are not going to be uh, followers that just die, but we're going to live on. And so I thank you for that, Father. I thank you that we're alive in, in you, Jesus. So I pray you just be with us and help us to continue to make a difference. Because what we do here upon this earth does matter. When we share the gospel message, it does, it does take root. And Lord, we can make a difference for you. I thank you for making a difference in my life, that I'm no longer dead. Um, I'm alive, and I'm alive in you forever and ever because of my faith and trust in you, Jesus. So I thank you so much. I thank you for not just saying it once through Scripture, but many times you said you were the way, the truth, and the life, that no one comes to the Father except through you. So I pray you just be with us, and thank you for allowing us to have this time this evening. And I pray you just help us to be mindful that you're not a God of the dead, but you're a God of the, those that are alive and serving you now. In your wonderful name I pray, Jesus. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I hope you have a great evening. And um, just be mindful of that. As we think about places like this, there are places of remembrance, remembering those that have passed, that this is not where you stay. You've got a greater home and you've got a greater place. And God is not the God of the dead, but he is the God of those that are alive in him. Have a good evening. Take care.